Hollywood. We told you about that. And also the Rolling Stones has an exhibit coming to the Strip. Terry Fader celebrating 10 years. Gosh, it's a big week. And John Castellmedes from the Review Journal is here to talk about all of it. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Missed you last week. Was I off last you week? You were off. Yeah, that's right. I was here with Todd. <laughs> you were here with Todd. I had a blast without you. Yeah, thanks. Great. <laughs> thanks for that. Fantastic. You had such a blast. And J-Lo announced 32 new she shows at the Planet Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, 50 new shows uh, beginning uh, Wednesday through, uh, through the end of October. J-Lo's ringing the bell at the Axis Theater. It's a great show, and uh, yeah, she's uh, she's all over the news lately with A Rod. You know, mm -hmm. Alex Rodriguez oh, yeah. and her are doing a, they're doing a very good thing on Instagram, by the way. If you look up A Rod's Instagram feed for raising money for the for the victims in Houston, a huge great. effort there. Both of them are doing a video that way. But this show brings it. You know, she's a terrific dancer, terrific performer, and man, can yeah, it's a, it's a real party. This show. So 15 more dates and more, uh, you know, more great stuff happening at the Axis. Yeah, didn't she just release a single too? So it all kind of goes together. Probably. Right. It's all con yeah. All this is happening at the same time. I don't know if that song's going to be in the in the uh, mm -hmm. stage show or not, but um, but she's back. Okay, yes, good. Well, dates. good. Uh, we're happy to have J Lo back, and we're happy to have Terry Fader celebrating 10 years here on the Las Vegas Strip. I can't believe it. I was at the opening. I'm sure you were too. Las Vegas Hilton. Wow. Yeah, that's it. Well, we were at the Mirage opening. We were at the. I was the Mirage. Yeah, opening. that's. There's two openings with Terry. He was. A, there he was with Scott oh, wow. Thompson. Look how top. dark Carrot that's, Top's hair is. I know that's really Carrot Top, not the puppet. Um, but uh, Terry opened at the Las Vegas Hilton 10 years ago, and mm -hmm. I was talking to him on the phone last week. He's outlasted like three owners of the hotel where he opened in the first place in Las Vegas over 10 years. Been at the Mirage for uh, nine, up, up, coming up on nine years. And, uh, you know, it's amazing. It's been 10 years since he won America's Got Talent, and uh, he continues to sell well. He's one of the mm -hmm. top money-making comics in the United States, top 10. Very wealthy man, very successful man, and he continues to update his show. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be writing about him uh, in the next few days, yes. talking all about this. Super successful, great mm -hmm. big theater, and he yeah. packs him in. So, mm -hmm. uh, amazing. Yep. Good for Las Vegas to be somewhere 10 years is pretty it's incredible. It's no small achievement. Boy, yeah. You're right. All right, the Rolling Stones have announced something uh, today. It's pretty exciting. Their exhibit, it's called, what is it called? Exhibitism? Exhi exhibitism. exhibitionism. Something Rolling like Stones that. exhibit is what you need to know. <laughs> yeah, and then Palazzo good. is where it's going to happen. And it um, opens September 23rd and runs through July or uh, January 31st of next year. This is the important thing here is this is uh, the first time the Rolling Stones have licensed this type of museum and attraction of their collective works ever. Mm. And we're talking, you can see it, stage attire. You've got um, artwork, uh, wow. especially Ronnie Wood is a great artist. You, you have instruments throughout their entire career, a 3D interactive walkthrough. Um, Adam Steck, whose name comes up a lot in, in, our, uh, in our discussion mm -hmm. of Las Vegas, he's a local producer of this. And it should be very cool at the Palazzo if any Rolling Stone fan, any rock and roll fan is going to have a great time in this yeah. thing. Just announced. And I like it at the Palazzo because I like going to the Palazzo. Yeah. It gives me another reason. <laughs> well, yeah, they're going to rock it up there. It, it could be anywhere for, yeah. for our purposes. Right. But, uh, but that is, that's the newest thing happening there. And congrats to those guys for bringing it together. It couldn't have been easy. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got about 30 seconds left. Any nuggets you want to touch on real quick? You know, we got the, um, the Kevin Hart uh, Labor Day weekend coming up on Sunday night. Dave Chappelle is back in town. Mm. A pouch show ladies and gentlemen at the oh, Chelsea the pouch is out yep the pouch is out so don't bring your phone to that show yeah. do not do that and a shout out to Las Vegas Academy's choir I was at the cheap trick foreigner show the other night and they sang Las Vegas Academy sang I want to know what love is with foreigner to close the show it was fantastic I was standing there watching the show and these girls were start dancing next yeah. to me who are teenagers and then they, they went were hustled off and I'm like what is happening here and then <laughs> pretty soon they're up up on stage with the choir cool. so good job for them it was a great moment for them awesome a lot more stories in Katz's column you can check it out in the review journal it's called Katz. Katz. All right, before we go, here's a look at tonight's primetime lineup 